Hey, it's Chris from Data Rescue Lab. So, new video today. Uh, this one is about Cellbrite and their new update. Uh, this uh, specifically, uh, pretty big update because it's um, it's something we've been waiting for quite a while. So we had phones that were encrypted, like the S7, S8, uh, some ZTE phones, some Huawei phones. Um, so we had them here in evidence, laying around and just uh, waiting for this update. So. Update came through. <clears throat> this update uh, it can decrypt the bootloader without triggering the warranty bit, especially on the galaxies and and whatnot. So there was no other way for us to actually uh, get a physical image of the device other than um, just pulling a logical extraction. We did not give us anything deleted. So now that we can do a physical extraction and decrypt the bootloader, uh, we get a full uh, full recovery. And um, and yeah. So anyways, uh, let me demonstrate how this works. Okay, so here we are in the new updated version of Celebrate UFED. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is um, we used to be able to get into Galaxy S7. And I have a video about this uh, from a year and a half ago. But since Android 8.0, what has happened is uh, Samsung has locked us out. Uh, so that's what, that's, the, that, that's what I wanted to add. But anyways, here we are. So this is the uh, physical extraction through decrypting bootloader. And uh, the phone used to be turned off. And the phone is turned off. I can, you can see in the video, the phone is off. So we're gonna go into download mode, like we used to do with the S5, S4, and S3. And once in this mode, we're gonna plug it in. And now we can start the, uh, the extraction process. Now, it's very interesting how Celebrate was able to actually get into these phones running the latest Android uh, well, it's not the latest, it's one version behind. But anyways, running pretty recent version of Android, which is Android 8, uh, without even uh, uh, triggering the um, Nox warranty bit. And that's, that's pretty important too. So the phone is left pretty much intact when, when the extraction is done. And you can see here the security patch on this phone is August 1st, 2018. It doesn't really matter what security patch this phone has. I think that uh, we're gonna be able to get around this uh, in the future. Um, we also wanna say that we can only get into phones running certain chipsets. So this particular S7 is running uh, Exynos uh, chipset. So that, that makes a big difference. I have an S8, a uh, few of them actually laying around right now for forensic work. And those are running Qualcomm. So I cannot get into those yet. But anyways, here's the process completed. Now it's gonna be disconnecting and uh, it's done. So we have two options from this point on. Uh, we can either open it directly in UFET Physical Analyzer or we can show the folder where the data is. So we're gonna do that. And here's the data. So every single partition has been uh, imaged, decrypted. So all the data you see there, this is a raw dump of the partition which is decrypted. And here we are in Celebrate UFED Physical Analyzer. And as you can see, this is Android 8. Uh, hope that's visible, I had to blur out some of the other stuff. But yeah, we got data. Um, all the red stuff is deleted. I actually did, did another phone previously, another S7 that was laying around here for quite a while. Um, so yeah, so that's the that's the new update and new fit. There's also a lot more features they added. I want to show uh, a ZTE phone that's also encrypted, that has been here for a year and a half, I think. Uh, we needed some deleted WhatsApp messages. There was another way of getting it, plus some text messages that were deleted. So uh, let's get to this now. All right. So this is the uh, the other phone. This is ZTE um, Z957 phone this one is uh, encrypted um, let me just go here in the settings uh, you can see here the phone is encrypted I don't know if the camera can pick this up but uh, you can see it right there it says encrypted so this particular phone doesn't actually um, exist as a profile in the Celebrate UFED uh, but uh, what, what happens is when you plug the unsupported devices into UFED now it will, it will look at the, the hardware of the device itself and it will create a profile for you uh, based on the chipset and the specs of the phone. So uh, we're gonna choose uh, this phone here, which actually corresponds to this model. And we're gonna go into physical and uh, decrypting bootloader once again. There's two versions of it. The first one didn't work, the second one worked for me. And uh, here all I have to do is put the phone in download mode, just like the Galaxy. Uh, I was having some issues here. I forgot the screen will be black. So I'll sped this up. Anyways, here, phone is in download mode and um, the phone's gonna reboot 
and it's going to go into uh, just its normal the boot process and normal screen and it's going to stay there and uh, it's going to start imaging. Now this phone does, does not get rooted. This is just like the Galaxy. There's no root involved in this process at all. And I'm going to speed this up. Um, this is um, just imaging now, decrypted uh, partition from this phone. It's almost done here. And that's it. I think this took about 40 minutes or something around there. All right, so now we can uh, do like with the other phone. We can open it and uh, celebrate and uh, data will start decoding. You can see it there on the left side is, is decoding now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, uh, I'm gonna have more videos coming soon. If you like this content, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next video.